I got this tapa, 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 tapa. To every DJ, they're my pit up to me. Wait, man. 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 From 2000 to about 2010, dance hall ruled mm. on radio around 2009, 2010. A few things happened where dance hall started to make a turn, a very sharp turn, driving itself off the cliff. I'm going to see a bunch of Khalifa, I'm going to see oh, MSC TV, Ronessa, the Fox, no fiction, you see, Bri? Yeah, I. I. People, welcome back to Aguan. I seen another one where I take on back in the early 90s with one of my favorite artists, Cutty Ranks. And in this video, it will be touching on some of my favorite pet peeves surrounding dancehall. Like the changing of the sound of dancehall and trying to sound like something else that we know we're not and the aggression in the dancehall lyrics. And whoever listens to me on a regular basis know that that topic is a topic that I hold dearly to my heart and I always make video pertaining to that topic and we have an American music executive talking about dancehall itself and why it took the trajectory that it took. Cutty Ranks hailed for his quote-unquote danceable gunman lyrics. Veteran dancehall DJ Cutty Ranks sparked much discussion on his Instagram page after he shared a video of American music executive Murray Elias declaring him one of dancehall's quote-unquote bodies whose gunman songs were highly danceable unlike the bad man music coming out of Jamaica today. I work with one of the baddest motherfuckers in reggae music, Cutty Ranks. You don't get any tougher and badder than him. He made gun lyrics, but you know the difference? You could dance to those records, Elias had said towards the end of the clip. Alright, stick up in right there. Who the brother there? American music executive. A long time me I said that as a normal little ghetto you to live in a Jamaica, Kingston. A long time me I said that. Our type of lyrics too aggressive. You can you can make gunman lyrics, you can make gun song, yes. But you can make it even laughable, you can make it even have a little humor to it and joke and make it danceable. Our lyrics them too serious, too dark. It come like a some cave it a come out of or some bat living a pay back the money my fly with them lyrics. <laughs> Alright, I'll go back to his story. The limb by limb singer who worked closely with Elias in the 1990s in resharing the post captioned it Dance all and everything. Prior to commenting on Cutty's dance all press, Elias had said Dancehall music had been driven off a cliff by Jamaicans who chose to double in trap beats while ditching the distinctive drum patterns of dancehall, a sentiment that appeared to resonate with Cutty's fans. Cutty, Murray ain't never been wrong yet. Massive respect to both of you, always, and thank you for all the years of great hits, one follower said. Well, I no feel him wrong that time, you neither. If you never rang yet, well, you're not rang now. Because a long time me I said, the beat, the beat where I listen to, the beat where me grew up to, I listen as a little boy in the 90s, a total different thing from where I hear right now. I got to have some dumb people that come and say, oh, dance all evolve, dance all evolve. It don't evolve, bro. It will dissolve or evaporate. Because I look on this, it's rap music. When you hear rap music, it's like you cannot know it. It not change from them time as a little boy this rap. It sound the same way. And if you go to a next genre like R&B, the same way it sound. So, I just we change up our things certain way. And the same Afrobeat we are listening to now, I saw Afrobeat sound from day one, from ever since. The man did not change it. From day one, I went time dance all over Africa and mash up over Africa. I see him with the Afro beat them sound. See him with them used to do them things. Nah, nah, not nice, but them know about this when I'm outside. Jump, run, pop off, shoot up, he dance. Yo, man, I lie. Bad. Bad, bad song. You know, me wonder people, me wonder if I don't really get the street vibes or rhythm from them time they're back in about 2008, 2009, if him would have got so hard pan it. Maybe him just get it the right time. Big woman thing, the remake. Because, and that nice rhythm, when built from them tall time there, and him come build it up back again. You don't know, like a Russian do with the dirty money, with the go-go club rhythm, and him call it dirty money right now. We don't even know if a street vibes from that nice car the same way. Maybe we can get a different name, but 
at the same rhythm. We know it. Police want to get a cool, dirty shop, swing money from the spot because they're so puffy, bro. All right, waitress and bottles. Yo, the man kill the rhythm people, and this I one of the song them for the month. In our next update, I'm going to the next song for the month. And people, that was Bottles Over Here by Idonia. I up on Spotify and iTunes and all of your major streaming platforms. So let's go buy the man's song. Another commenter, Reggae Skanking, in concurring with Elias, said that the sounds coming out of Jamaica began to evolve after computers became widely available on the island to the detriment of the authentic beats. So he says, referring to Elias, the difference in Koti Rank's gun lyrics is you can dance to them, and he is correct. But guess what? The music that came after 2010 was all experimental, and it only happened because of technology. From every man get computer, then become producer and engineer, and then the experiment started, he noted. The sound was now hip hop sound in drums and everything shifted. Not nice genius and other producers started to experiment. So now the authentic dancehall coming through the big mixing boards from Penthouse and Shocking Vibes and Dave Kelly them was gone. I blame technology, he added. Elias has been credited with the signing of Cutty Ranks to the profile records back in the 1990s and as producer of the DJ's My Woman single with Barrington Levy and Rude Boy Game songs which appeared on the Jamaicans 1996 album Six Million Ways to Die. Six million ways to die. Cut his intro, Six Million Ways to Die, from the hit song Who Semadon, which appeared on the Six Million Ways to Die album, has been sampled by several American artists over the years, including Funk Master Flex in Six Million Ways to Die. It was also copied by Snoop Dogg in Serial Killer. Method Man and Red Man in How I, Joey Bada in Survival Tactics, Most Deaf in Mathematics, and Dr. J and Ice Cube in Natural Born Killers. The Six Million Ways to Die album has been described by one music critic as a rude boy anthem and typical of the gun obsessed dancehall of the time, in which a line rarely passed without a reference to Badman activities. The album comprised 15 tracks including other songs such as The Return, Hitman, Time to Die, Push Out in the Head, Undertaker, One Gun, Two Gun, Bush Tonic, and Waste of Time featuring Shaggy. Cutty, whose given name is Philip Thomas, was a butcher prior to his dancehall career. His foray into dancehall music started with him DJing on sound systems back in the 1980s. Thereafter, he joined Donovan Jeremy in Penthouse label in 1990, where he collaborated with reggae legends such as Marcia Griffiths, Barry Simmons, Dennis Brown, and Wayne Wonder. His most successful album, The Stopper, was released in 1991 and included songs such as Hand Grenade, Pan Paz, The Cutter, My Aim, Original Road Boy Style, One Day Badness, and the title track, The Stopper. <laughs> Yo, we read Cutty Ranks is a shame, brother. Cutty Dame to Cosita, a reggaeton collaboration with Panamanian El Chombo has passed the 4.5 billion mark on YouTube, where it remains one of the top 20 most viewed songs in the history of the video sharing platform. From 1999 to two, 2010, Dance Hall was on fire yeah. in America, led by Sean Paul. But there were tons of other records that were on the radio. Whenever you walked into a club, a hip hop club in America, as lit as the party was, when they threw on the dance hall set, the party was on fire. From 2000 to about 2010, dance hall ruled mm. on radio. The third world music you heard on urban radio in America was dance hall. Yeah. That was the flavor that urban radio wanted. That was the Caribbean spice that, that urban radio wanted. Now, around 2009, 2010, a few things happened where dance hall started to make a turn, a very sharp turn, driving itself off the cliff. Production and the beats changed. That's when 
trap dance hall started to uh, raise his hand. The one thing I know about black music in America, when it stops becoming dance music, mm. they move on to something else. Listen, I work with one of the baddest motherfuckers ever in reggae music, Cuddy Ranks. Mm. Okay, you don't get any tougher and badder than him. He made gun lyrics, all right? He made a song called Gun Lyrics. But you know the difference? You could dance to those records. All right, people, I went through all of that just to say this. Nobody not really against the gun lyrics per se. You know? All right, look on this. Bob Marley said him shot the sheriff. Let's picture that one of our most legendary icon till the same shot the sheriff. But the man never go in and shoot up everybody. The sheriff had gave himself a problem. The man even tell the same never shoot the deputy. And basically that's one of the most profound things you could ever say you do. Say you shoot a law man. But the way how you do things, back to what I'm trying to say, it's the way how you bring across your message. You can sing boy your gun and sing boy whatever. But the way you bring it across at this so, the disdainness uh, come our people are uh, accept it our people are uh, chastise it and put it one side and put it as garbage garbage or uh, rubbish all right people more on Tell me in the comment section what you think per se about this gun lyrics and them thing there and bad man lyrics certain way because obviously look on cut ranks the man do two album of be a bad man song and gun song and them thing there and when I tell you like, I look a boy me used to love hear him song them because he have a voice him and a brother named Buru Bantan Thanks for listening, thanks for watching MSC TV, Ronnie with Talk Fox no fiction. I may say a Pancho Khalifa. I may rep who MSC TV. Rona so talk facts. No fiction. You see, Bree. Yeah, I.